Hello everyone. So if this tutorial made it on YouTube, it actually means I installed Geonode on Windows and I'm going to show you how. So first you're going to start with installing that is downloading OSGO4W. So I'll download 32 bit, but it doesn't matter. Then since I already have it in downloaded, I'll install it by running it as administrator. So we're going to be installing GDAL. Now select advanced install option, then click next, accepting all the default options. Then you're going to go to libs and select GDAL. So you're going to click on either keep or skip until it shows the version of GDAL. And then you're going to enable that uh, checkbox. Now with that in place, you're going to click next. And that should be installed. So once you have that installed, let's go to the next step. So we are going to install JDK 14. I'll provide a link of where you can download it and I'll install the Windows installer 64 bit. So let's download JDK. Next, let's download Git. So I'll select git for windows and I'll also download that. And then next you're going to download node.js. And we'll use 12.18 LTS version. And then let's install JDK once you have already downloaded it. So run it as administrator. accept the uh, warning and then we'll accept all of the default options so click next and give it time to install okay so you can close that Now we are also going to install Node.js, so install it by right clicking on the file and clicking install. So the same for Node.js, we are going to accept all the default options. So click next, accept the path, next, next. And don't um, don't check this uh, accept automatically download some other things. So once that is done installing, finish. So you are going to reopen the command prompt just to detect the changes that have occurred. So command prompt, reopen, and then let us install BOA and grant CLI packages. Now install git, running it as administrator. Same way we'll accept all default options, so click next up to the end. So we'll be using git to clone the Geonode project from GitHub. So you can click, we are done. Okay, uh, we'll need to reopen command prompt to detect the installed git. 
So reopen that. And now let's uh, change directory to where you want your geonode project to be. In my case, it was in documents and clone. Next, let's download and install Python 3, the latest version, and it's 32 bit. Then, um, once that is done, we're going to configure the Python path and add it to our system variables. So, this is the location um, to where Python uh, is located, and we'll mark this and use it in registering our system path for Python. So, uh, scripts, yeah. Now this is the path to Python 3.8. Open control panel, go to system, system, advanced system settings, and then um, environmental variables, right there. Now we are going to scroll down to path and edit. So I would have chosen to add it as a new Python whatever path, but I'm going to just edit the existing one. And I know that my path for Python has 38-32. Probably it will be the same for you or it might be different. Then okay. Finish that up. The next step is to reopen command prompt to detect the changes. And then uh, I'm going to change directory to the documents folder where I have installed the Geonode project. And then if you don't have virtual ENV, you'll install it using pip. But for my case, I already have it, so I'll go ahead and create a virtual environment. So virtual environment and the name of the virtual environment, which is Geonode ENV. Then this is the path to where the virtual environment can be found. So we are going to activate it. Now open the virtual environment file folder, go to scripts, and then search for the activate file. And it's supposed to be Windows batch file. Now drop it to command prompt and click enter. As you can see, it has activated a virtual environment called Geonode ENV. Next, we are going to change directory to our Geonode project that we had uh, uh, downloaded from GitHub. And then install Paver. Now Paver will be used to run other commands that will set up Geonode. This may take some time, but once you are done, we'll need to install um, the requirements or the dependencies for Geonode. So uh, in, to install that, you need to move out of your Geonode project by one step, and then install pip install eGeonode. Now if you try to run Paver setup, you'll get an error about GDAL path. So to fix this, Go to Geonode project and then Geonode folder and scroll down to settings.py. I'm going to open it with Notepad. You can open it with any editor of your preference. Then search for GDAL somewhere there. Now um, you're going to need to replace some of this code with what I have provided. So I'll provide that also. Copy that. Now we're going to delete that and replace it with um, this. So copy up to path and then replace it from if os.name is nt. Yeah. Then save your file and close. Okay, also we are going to go to the virtual environment that we created, go to scripts, not rather scripts, but lib, uh, site packages, uh, Django, contrib, 
GIS and this comes with the GeoJungle application so GeoNode in itself is a GeoJungle application go to GDAL and then leave GDAL so we are going to open this with notepad again and make some changes just one change so because we installed GDAL GDAL comes with a GDAL 300.dll and we are going to add this to our lib names now add GDAL 300 because it's not listed in the lib names and it brings this error yeah. then save now close that And then if you try to run again Paver setup, you still get OSGO module is not found. So this means we need to install GDAL via pip. So we'll download the GDAL wheel. And I'll download 3.0.4. Which is um, suitable for my version. Or rather it's the same version as the GDAL I installed using OSGO4. W. So click on that, download. Since I already have it downloaded, I'll cancel the process. And then, and I've downloaded Win32. And then I'll open my command prompt to the side, still within my virtual environment. And then run pip install and drop this file there. So this will install GDAL wheel. Any other way of installing it will bring errors. Now set up Geonode. Run Paver setup. At this point you should probably grab a coffee as you subscribe to this channel as your paver setup will um, run successfully and your geonode will be successfully set up so this might take uh, some time so be patient so uh, we need to change directory into our geonode project first then run paver setup yeah so At this point, it's it's good I explain what Geonode is, and uh, in simple terms, Geonode is a CMS for GIS. So it can be used to create layers, uh, generate maps, share them, and also publish. Now we're going to run Paver Sync, which will sync our database, and add any sample data that is already there. It's also going to migrate uh, the database tables. Now I'm going to run paver start. And this will also take some time. So be patient. We'll provide Java path and the path to Java wherever you installed it. Most likely it will be in local C program files, Java, JDK, uh, bin java.exe so drop that into command prompt like that and click enter now you need to accept this um, and change it from private from public to private allow access So we're going to open our final uh, in localhost 8000. So this is Geonode successfully installed. Now you can also create a super user who will be logging into Geonode admin. So first stop paver. Then you're going to run python manage.py create super user. 
and provide a username, a password, and an email address. Then run paver start again. Remember to replace the java underscore path correctly. Now if we try to sign in with our newly created user, which is geonode, then the password, sign in. Everything should be good to go. Let's test out Geonode and see if it's working fine. So we'll create um, a layer and a data. Upload layers. And then you're going to add some shape files I have right here. So drag them and drop them. So that's it guys. Go ahead and play around with Geonode. I'm going to also provide a link to the same article for um, installing Geonode on Windows so that if this tutorial is too fast for you, you can follow the article instead. And guys, if you uh, find this tutorial helpful in any way, consider subscribing to this channel. Goodbye.